today I'm going to be talking about the gas line, what type of gas line you should be using for your ADU, the correct size. I'm going to talk about my experience, the things you have to do to pass the inspections, and I will be uploading a free tool to make this whole process extremely easy. Let's go. I had a quick conversation with a viewer. He gave me a call and he asked me about the gas line. I guess the city that he is in requested the specific gas line size on his plants before they stamped them. It was a condition prior to him getting approved plants. And basically the conversation went, can you help me out? I need to know what type of gas line I need for my ADU. At that time, I misplaced the information that the city inspector gave me. I wish I could have helped them out a little bit more. I feel bad a little bit because I don't know what happened. I, I never followed up. And I got, I got thinking, I was like, you know, what if it's not just one person? What if there's a lot of people out there going through the same problem and they have nowhere to go to get this information? I went on Google, I typed in ADU gas line. There was not a lot of information. And the information that I did manage to find was not helpful. It was not user friendly. It was just a bunch of numbers. I could barely figure it out. I mean, going through the process, I know what to look for, but looking at these sheets made by these other people, it just it didn't make sense. It was not user friendly. And I just thought to myself, you know what? I'm gonna give it my shot. I'll try to, try to see if I can put this together in a way that it's easy for everybody. And it is. So hopefully this information is useful for somebody who's going through the gas line process and might be stuck or they talked to the city inspector and the city inspector told them that they need to install the correct type of gas line and you just have nowhere to go. So hopefully this video will help you out. Before I move on with the video, just remember, I'm a realtor. I help people buy and sell houses. If you know somebody wants to buy a house, pass on my number. If you know somebody wants to sell a property, let them know on average, if they list with me, I can help them save about $6,000. And the biggest problem that I have in general about the ADU process is that questions about the gas line they're really hard to come by and get really solid answers that are gonna make sense for your application you can't just call the plumber he might not want to spill the beans and tell you how to do the project obviously you're not giving him the project so it wasn't it for him that that's the whole mentality of these contractors and charging $100,000 to build a project what's in it for me if I give you a little bit of information uh, for me it takes nothing right I'm giving you the information it's approved by the state of California you have nothing to worry about use it for your project Okay, so this is the gas line update. I believe on the plumbing video, I didn't really go into detail into what's going on in this section, this part of the ADU. Uh, back then, I didn't have the shutoff valve. Now I have it, it was installed, and all my inspections went as expected. I passed them all. Now, let me go and fill you in in regards to this scenario. This, the first thing you wanna do is, this is your gas meter. This is coming directly from the city. What I did is I called, first I spoke to my inspector, we briefly talked about the gas and the gas process, and he told me I needed a bigger gas meter. So what I just did is I called the city, I gave them my permit number, I told them I was building an ADU, and I needed a bigger gas meter. I made an appointment, they came by, it took them about 20 minutes, they took the old one, installed a new one, and this is a way bigger unit. I don't even know how many BTUs it has, all I know is that it's, it's bigger, and it's exactly what I needed for my ADU. This is a free service. You gotta do is call the city, they're gonna come by the gas company and they're going to install it for you for free if you live in the city of LA. I don't know if it's different in, in different counties or in different parts of the state, but for me, it was free. I didn't have to pay anything. Now, the problem with gas lines, some cities want you to have the correct size of gas line that you're gonna be using in your ADU in your approved plans. That wasn't the case for me. I'm in the city of LA. We just submitted the plants without a gas um, plan or a gas line. Maybe your designer doesn't know what to do in regards to the gas line. So it's gonna be tough. You're gonna have a tough scenario getting your plants approved if they want you to call out the correct gas size line you're gonna be using. Now, there's many ways to solve that problem. And luckily, when I spoke to my inspector, he told me what to do and how to fix the problem and install the correct 
uh, gas size line. And if you're building this project by yourself, you don't wanna pay $100,000 for somebody to come in and tell you what to do. It gets really complicated. I mean, I didn't have the answers until I started doing a little bit of research. Luckily, I did my research with the person that knew exactly what to do, so I didn't have a problem as big as other people. It gets tough, I mean, if you have a friend who's a plumber, he'll, he'll hook you up. If you don't have anybody, if you don't have any connections in regards to plumbing and, and what to do in regards to the size of the gas line that you need to use, you're gonna have a tough scenario. Now, the reason why the city wants you to install the correct gas size line, it gets very technical. And at the end of the day, what it comes down to is the size of the pipe delivering enough gas for your appliances. If you have your water heater running, if you have your dryer running, and if you're about to cook something on your stove, what happens is if you have a small gas line, there's not gonna be enough gas being pushed in for all the appliances to work properly at the same time. So having a bigger gas line makes the process easier. You can be running everything, and when you turn on the stove to cook an egg, the flame, instead of being this small, is gonna be the normal size. So that's why you need to install the correct type of gas line. <laughs> I feel like Alex Jones doing this, but this is the solution. This is the this is the sheet that my city inspector gave me, telling me in detail what the BTUs my uh, ADU was going to use, and and this guideline tells you the exact size of the pipe that you need to install. So he gave me this. He actually did the math with me. He asked me, "What are you going to have on the ADU?" I told him I was gonna use a stove and a water heater with gas. And I'm gonna be using 140,000 BTUs for my gas heater and 65,000 BTUs for my stove. In cubic feet, I'll be using 127 cubic feet per hour of gas. And then for the stove is 59 cubic feet. I'm lost already. Overall, I'm gonna be using 186 cubic feet of, uh, of gas, which I have no idea what that is. And on the other side, you take all that math and you come down to a chart and it tells you exactly what type of gas line you should be using. I'm gonna go ahead and upload this to the website. It's gonna be somewhere on the front page. You can click on it and download it. This way you don't have to break your head Googling all day what to do in regards to the gas. This is directly from... I tried to find this on the City LA's website. I couldn't find it, uh, but this is what they gave me. So this is the official thing to use. So go ahead and go to the website, download this thing, give it to your plumber and then install your gas line. So that's the, the hard part uh, or the way to find out what type of gas line you should be using. This is the hard part. Okay, so this is your gas meter. Remember, call the city. They're gonna come in and hook you up with a bigger one for free. Now, in order to pass the inspections, you need to install one of these things. If you live in the city of LA, you need a gas shutoff valve before you sell your house. And for the purpose of an ADU, you need to install one of these in, in order to pass the inspections. My plumber just came by one day and installed this massive shutoff valve. I was happy. The city inspector just looked at it and didn't even measure what size it was. He just said it was okay. And this, let me show you the scenario for the gas lines. This is a gas line going into the house. This is the gas line going into the ADU. We have shutoff valves in each one of them. This wasn't here before, so he installed it because he was installing this one already. Might as well put the other one at the same time. Now, remember, you need an individual gas line for the ADU. It cannot tap into the gas line for your house. It's not going to pass the inspection. Just have that clear with whoever is doing your gas line. Now, what we did for my ADU, we went ahead and installed an inch and a quarter. This is what that is. This is the line going to the ADU. The inspector came by, he didn't even measure the pipe, he just looked at it and he was completely happy. He signed the sheet right away, he told me everything was in good shape. So for your ADU, if you want to know exactly what type of gas line you need to use, go to the website, get the sheet, it's very helpful. It told me exactly to the T the type of gas line that I needed. If you happen to need two gas meters, one for your house, one for your ADU, all you have to do is call the gas company, let them know you need an additional meter for your ADU, they will ask you for the permit number, you give them that information, and they will install it for you. That's it, it's not complicated. That's it for the gas line, hopefully you guys learned something. On the next video, what I'm trying to do is get the bathroom video out of the way, 
and I'm working on two projects. One of them is the footings video. I'm still editing, but I have all the footage. I just need to put it together. And right after that, it's gonna be a massive video. This is gonna be extremely helpful because it might save people hundreds and thousands of dollars. And it's to do with the finance aspect of your ADU. So stay tuned for that video. Thank you so much. And I'll see you guys on the next one.